we've gone in. The child has been turned inside out. I can see this being the intro. The child has been turned inside out. Stuffed with salt. And then turned back out again. He's very well preserved. Loot his corpse. I don't really want to. Firestone. Ooh. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Pokemon Snakewood Let's Play and we are on part 5. We just went into that solar caverns place. That thing that used to be the Sun on Duford and now it's some crazy demon dragon place. The dragon master of some sort was there. I don't know. And they seem to be colluding with the zombie whoever started that apocalypse. I'm really not keeping up very well with this. Um, either way, the team's looking pretty good. Uh, and this gym leader was the one that sent us to go and beat uh, that dragon king that was in the the uh, in the cave, and then said she'd take us on. So we're coming back now to get our next gym badge, hopefully. And if we have a quick look through the team, then we've got ectoplasm, our egg, uh, which came from an egg, and I'm guessing probably will evolve into another egg. Strange little thing. We've also got a ball toy called Marley. Confusion, Psy, Beam, Rock, Tomb, and Santu. We've got a Gyarados up in here that we didn't nickname. Never mind. Tackle, Splash, Bite, and Surf. Next up, we've got Fetai Hong with Pikachu. Holding a Demon Horn. With Quick Attack, Thunder Shock, Ice Punch, and Thunder Wave. Then we've got Revenant, the Nuzleaf. Bide, Cut, Growth, and Nature Power. And Pishacha, the Mighty Enna. Tackle, Howl, Sand Attack, and Bite. Now, this gym, supposedly is a dark type gym. It was a fighting type originally, and then when the leader died or something, this girl took over and now it's a dark type. So, let's get into the uh, conversation. How did you find out what was causing the rumours? Yeah, there was a group of dragons there. Apparently, they came with the zombies. I knew it, I'll have to get the old anti-air gun, anti-air gun working. Anyway, thanks. Now show me your true power. So we're gonna use anti-air guns to shoot down dragons, that seems a bit unfair. Uh, well, Lida Haruko is here. And she's got a Poochiena. Right. Ah, we've gone straight in with Eggtoplasm. That's not the best idea, because you will get bodied. Um, not that it matters, I can always just go and revive. I'm not those looking, but it's still. I'd rather than not faint if I can help it. Uh, why did I go for Quick Attack there? Uh, go for Ice Punch. I'm quicker than it anyway, so... Ice Punch should... Ooh, it doesn't. Oh, and takedown finishes off Fetai Hong. Jeez. Well, it raised its attack to do that, and uh, it obviously paid off. Right, we'll try out with Gyarados then. Uh, uh, we lower his attack back down, and we'll go for Surf. It's powerful, it's stab. He's gone for Super Potion. That's okay. Oh, and Surf finishes it in one shot. Not even a crit. Easy. Some nice experience for Gyarados there. Next we've got Luxray. Luxray is electric dark, so Gyarados isn't the best to go in here. Probably Marley, who's ground psychic. So that could be good. Um, Psybeam's not going to hurt it because it's dark. Let's go for Rock Tomb. Wow, the bite's super effective. Of course, because I'm psychic and it's dark. Why, did I not, why am I not thinking straight right now? Okay. So we go out with Revenant. This thing's level 25, to be fair. Like, like that's, that's that's pretty girthy. It goes for a bulk up. It went a long way down to do that bulk up. I'm going to go for the growth. I'm just going to raise my special attack. And then we're going for nature power. Oh, shit. And it turns into swift. Wow, that's awful. Well, I, th I can see that I'm going to have to come back and do this again. <laughs> Bye. Mind you, if it's only not, hmm, if it's not got any electric type moves, I could try Gyarados out there uh, and see if he can sort it out. Here we go. Ah, uh, no. Well, there's the electric type moves. Okay, so I think we get the sound, keep hitting with the sound attacks to get its accuracy down as low as we can, and then back out to Gyarados and see if Gyarados can make the most of that. Um, so surfs. I mean, nothing though here is going to be that good. Let's just try a surf anyway, as it's the stab move. Now that's alright to be fair. But Trey misses again. 
Are them sand attacks going to pay off? Thundershock hits this time. Uh, it's only 40 damage, though, so... Ooh, a lot of HP. Okay. Crit, 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 crit. Oh, a crit there would have been so good. Okay. Um, so we heal up. And then hope that it misses its next attack. Bye, I can deal with that. Ah, uh, wait. I'm going to want it to miss its next one now as well. Light potion, 20 points. What else do we have that heals us up? Oh, is that it? Shit. Definitely could have come into this a little bit more uh, ready. Now I need it to go for... Oh no, there's the thunder shot and we're down. Okay. Um, I can see we're going to lose this and we're going to have to come back and go again. Let's try and see if we can get a grass whistle off before it kills us. We have. Okay, that could have that could have done the job. I'm not going to be able to kill it with that though, so we're going to have to get Revenant out. And hopefully it stays asleep. It does. Okay, what do we do here? Cut or nature power? Let's go for the cut. Another one. It wakes up by... Ah, oh, Man. Exoplasm back out. Let's see if we can get another grass whistle off. No, from the shock hits. And that will kill us because we are only level 11. Thanks for coming. Well... It was a nice attempt. Let's go and try again. Straight back in. No, no fucking around. Just straight back in. Uh, if I can remember how to get to her, that is. Wait, that's the beginning again. So that was a big square. Let's go up there. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I've gone the wrong way. Well, that's a bit frustrating. Oh, never mind. It's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of leveling up, so... Could be good. Get a bit of experience on everyone. Dude, that Luxio. It's a monster. Thank you. Right. Now, how... Oh, there's more. How did I get to her before, then? Oh, it's all good. We'll get there. Wow, I really don't have much to go against this thing. Just keep smashing it. It's all right. What have we got coming next? Poochyena. Why do I have to come up against somebody who's got so many Pokemon? I just want to get through these battles as quickly as possible. Get to that gym leader. Get myself that badge. Marley gets level 20 as well. I suppose the good thing is at least I'm getting some experience here. Getting myself ready for the gym leader. There we go. Right, so I'm going 100% the wrong way, basically. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, there's no Mart here. Uh, is there one of those guys that... Like, sells random shit, what they're called? Looters. There's not. Well, I'm not going all the way back there just to use the Mart, so I'm just going to have to try and get through without any potions. Right, so I went up there last time and that wasn't right. So let's try these three. Uh, uh, oh wait, this doesn't feel right. Ah, you are soul. Feet I hong. In we go. Can't wait till this thing gets Thunderbolt. Get fucked off, mate. So once again, wait, am I going? No, I'm not. Jeez. Talk about getting lost. Let's try this one more time. And then another time after that if we don't get it, because obviously I'm going to keep going until we get it. Okay, I've already been past you once. Oh, this is a big circle. That's where I went up before. Right, so let's try going up there and then going past... Ah, uh, wait a second. I remember going past those crates before. Hang on. Got it. Here we go. So, let's not start out with ectoplasm. Let's go in with... What was the first one? Puchiana. Um. Let's go straight in with Gyarados. Why am I pressing Surf? I'm trying to switch. Here we go. We don't need to see this conversation again. This time we're getting the gym badge. I can 
feel it in my bladder. Poochiana, we cut his attack and we will go for Surf. Easy, nicely done. Next, Luxray, we stay in. I think we can live a Thundershock, so, unless it crits. So we're going to go for... Unless it crits. And there it is. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see what's going on. So, we'll go for the... Ice Punch. Wow, so this is going really well. This thing's a monster! How am I supposed to beat this thing? Oh my lord. This thing is not messing around. Right. That bite's not doing anything either. What does Howl do? Attack rises. Okay, let's do a couple more then. Oh no! I was just thinking I was doing well because the um, leftovers was going to keep me alive. Let's see how much damage we can do to this just by mashing bite. Not much. Okay. Well, this was a short one. What do we go for here? Nah. It's going to be Rock Tomb, but it's going to be faster. Ah, oh, it misses. So at least the... Um... Wait. Get Sand Tomb in, so that's going to do a bit of damage at a time. And we Rock Tomb it, and hopefully it keeps missing because... Oh, god damn. Hopefully it keeps missing because of the... Um... Sand attacks that we've been doing. Lowers its speed, so at least we outspeed it now. Now... No, it's going to resist. Is it primary dark? Or... Right, let's see if it resists. It does. Damn it. Wouldn't have mattered anyway, because it would have hit us. Uh, and then Ectoplasm... Doesn't get the sleep. Put it to sleep, man! There we go. Good lad. And then we just leech life it to death, I think. Well, that's super effective. What? Wow. Come on, Grass Whistle. There we go. It, seriously, if I beat this Luxray with an egg... Oh, my days. Still asleep. We're going to do it. Ah, oh, get in. Well, it's going to get a couple of levels, I think. Just one. But, unfortunately, we've got a long way to go. And uh, I don't see this ending very well for us. We get the Grass Whistle. Now, Leaf Life should be okay against this as well. It's super effective against dark types. That's really strange. That's a new thing, right? Well, now I know that. That's a, that makes things a little bit different, I think. Well, I don't, I don't know how to go about this. Because I feel like I can beat the thing. Maybe. Without having to do anything. Like, if I just go in with the right tactic... If I put Ectoplasm out, leave Gyarados in, Ectoplasm out for the second one, and put it to sleep, and then switch back to Gyarados to finish it off with the Surfs, I think we might get it done. Uh, I don't know, though. Well, it's worth a blast. That's what we're going to try. Still got Gyarados up front. Yeah, cool. Right. Because we can beat it with one Surf. We know that. So next comes Luxray. So we swap out for Ectoplasm. See if we can get the Grass Whistle off. We can't. Now Pishacha because Sand Attack. So let's mash that as many times as we can. There we go. And now we switch back to Gyarados. Hope it misses us with its Thunder Shock. It doesn't. It hits. It leaves us on 2 HP. Shit. Right. We're staying in. Um. Yeah, let's just keep surfing until we can't surf anymore. Oh, the super potion, of course. Come on, one more of those. Oh, damn it. Okay, this is this is okay, though. We're doing all right. Hmm, no good, no good. How is it hitting so much? It's got... Goddamn mother... Fucking... Goddamn... Sand attacks. So how is it hitting me so regularly? What the fuck is going on? Uh, we're back again down to one Pokemon. Um, 
Oh man, that looks ray is gonna. This episode is gonna be me grinding that looks ray down, and I'm not gonna. I'm not going to grind up my levels because I know I can beat it with the tactic that I'm using. I'm just not getting the look that I need. So this time then, we put Mighty Enna straight out instead of use, trying to use Grass Whistles to put it to sleep. Gyarados, switch out to Mighty Enna, use the Sand Attacks, and then switch back to Gyarados and hope we can finish it off with the Surfs. So in comes Luxray, we go for Pishacha. There we go. Lower its attack, now Sand Attacks. There we go, another one. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. There we go. Okay, good. Good. Right, so it's got a good chance of missing quite a few now. We lower its attack again with Intimidate. Uh, la 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 la, surf. It bulks up, which is a bit scary. Oh, there we go. Honestly, we're just getting no luck with its accuracy. So, Ectoplasm, try and get the Grass Whistle off. Again. Accuracy. Too good. Uh, nope. Dude, this episode is an absolute fail already. What's the point of you? Whoa! I'm going to have to go and grind. I really don't want to grind. Fuck off. Oh, I'm, just gr I'm, just, I'm just smashing it now. I'm going to throw my controller at the screen very, very soon. This is going to be the shortest episode I've ever posted. That's a, that is a tactic that can come off, but it just needs to come off. <sighs> right, stick with it though. Because I know we can beat it this way. I know it's doable. Sand attacks. There we go, another one. Another one. Keep going. More. How many have we got off? Six? Nicely done. Let's try and get... Okay, that's not going to work. Gyarados in then. Fucking hell, it's hitting every move! What is going on? God damn it! <laughs> I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I'm, I'm going to give in. Dear me. I mean, what do I do with this now? I'm going to have to just grind. Oh, I don't know if I can be arsed with that. Right, okay, we're going into the cave. We're going to do some grinding. I will get this gym badge by the end of this episode. We'll be right back. What is up? We are back, and after about, let's have a look, 20 odd minutes of grinding, we are here to take on the gym leader again, probably for the sixth time this episode. Uh, as you can see, I've not gone overboard, because I don't like to be too far ahead of the curve, I don't like to be too easy, but we've got Pichasha here, uh, level 23, Revenant's gone to 23, all these up to 23, x at 18, Gyarados is at 25. So, I'm going to do the same tactic again. Except this time, we've got higher levels, so we're going to be able to survive longer while we're doing the sand attacks, and so on and so forth, and hopefully that will be good enough. <sighs> so we start off with the familiar Intimidate. Oh yeah, also, I also picked up Draco Fury, which is the equivalent to Dragon Rage. Uh, so that's going to be good. Because no matter what, I'm going to be doing 40 damage to this Luxray. Uh, so, we're going to swap in for Pishacha. Go for the same things again. Sand attacks. And he's going to be able to get a lot more off now because he's a higher level. He's got more HP. It's going to take longer to kill him. And I think, right, his accuracy is, low, is as low as it will go. That's all I can really ask for. So let's get Gyarados in there. And we can go for the Draco Fury. Guaranteed 40 HP damage. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sneaky little tackle to get its health down a little bit, and then another Draco Fury, because if I get its health down too far, it's going to Super Potion. Survive it. Yes, it does. Draco Fury should kill it, 
and we've avoided it healing up as well. There it is. There we go. Good tactics. Things are working. Pishacha! I get some experience as well, and we're in with Carvana. We're going to swap for um, Revenant. I'm going to have a little think about this now. Let's try the bide and see whether we can survive whatever it goes for. Bulks up. That's fine. So it really depends what it hits us with this turn now. Bulks up again. Oh, God's sake. Unleashes nothing. Bulks up again. Okay. It's going to absolutely destroy me. We'll go for fake out. We miss. Damn it. Wow. That slam. Okay. Um... Fee Tai Hong, electric type. Get the Thundershock off. There we go. Slam misses. Super potions, but Thundershock is good again. Hopefully, it's going to super potion again. Wowee. Well, we're much faster than it, so it didn't really have much to fight us with there. Everyone getting some XP. Next, we've got Absol. Ooh, that's, that's going to be a high level one. No, it's only 18. I feel like he used his high level one already, which is a bit weird. Okay, let's try Ice Punch. Again, Stab Salt. Bulks up. He's really enjoying this little bulk up method. Um, so let's Thunder Wave it. We slow it down. Obviously, it means it might not be able to move as well, which is good. So we go for Slam. Oh, Swords Dance to raise its attack sharply. And there's Shadow Swipe. Oh, one hit KO. Okay, let's think about this. Uh, let's get Pishacha out. Let's go for the sand attacks again. Let's go for that tactic of really getting that accuracy down. I can't do it anymore, though. Cool. So we'll get our attack up. And we'll go for tackles. There it is. Oh, yeah, we've got this. Finishes it off with a tackle. And Pishacha is going to get another level. Good stuff. Next, we've got a Sneasel. Now, that's a bit scary. Um, You know what? No, it's not. I'm going to howl again. Get, to get my attack a bit higher and then just tackle. Yeah, that's it. One more. One more of them. Oh, it just doesn't quite finish it off. That's okay. Goes for Super Potion. We go again. Keep going. One more. Yes. There we go. Next, he's got King Maida. What the fuck is that? King Mardio. Level 1 King Mardio. What the fuck do I do with this thing? I can't sand attack it. Oh, God. We're just going to have to go for tackle. Oh, it's got Wonder Guard. It's not doing anything to me though. Right, and it's a. We're guessing it's a dark type then if it's got Wonder Guard. So, really, I suppose it's going to have to be Ectoplasm. Because he's got that Leech Life, which is super effective. Can we put it to sleep? Yes, we can. There we go. Okay. Just so it doesn't do anything we're not unexpected. And we'll just go for Leech Life. Okay, so it's not because. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't have anything that's going to be super effective against it. That's sand too. So, I mean, I'm just trying every type of move that I have. Psychic moves aren't working. Shit. This isn't good. Dragon? No. Fight obviously is going to be the same. Surf isn't normal. Well, I'm, the game's just soft-locked me. That's what's happening there. <sighs> Who have I not tried? I think I've already tried everybody, to be honest. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. This is the worst soft-lock ever. I've just got to hope it's... Oh, it's struggling now. It's out of moves. Good. Just let it keep struggling. That's fine. Let's keep howling. 
Oh, dear me. And I thought that was going to be super, super difficult. Thank God it didn't have many nightshades left. And it's just going to struggle itself to death. Well done, everyone. 13 XP all around. And we finally get the gym badge from leader Haruko. And she says, just as I expected from a slayer of dragons, call me Dragonborn. Ghost received the Mias, Mia, Miasma badge. I feel like that's not what it was called originally. Hmm. But, uh, you know, never mind. Right, I'm just going to make a note of what I need to put on the layout of this episode. So far, it's just a badge. I don't know what the Miasma badge is, though. We'll have a look in a sec. Pokemon up to level 30 of AU. Also have one of these. You know how to use one of these? Bulk up. That's why all her Pokemon have got bulk up. Uh, we'll keep hold of that for now. And let's just get out of here because we're in a bad way right now. And I really want to get some more shit done before the end of this episode. Oh no, no, I'm not going back in. Right. The Pokephone is ringing. Hello? It's me. Did you find anything out about Landon and May? Oops, forgot to ask anyone, but I did kill two dragons. That's beside the point. Stop wasting time slaying monsters and find my daughter and your brother. Okay, okay, I'll ask around. Someone here will know something. See to it that you do. Maybe I should ask around the houses. Okay, so that's a good little hint. So let's heal up. Just out of interest, what Pokemon have I got in the box? Uh, just so I can have a little look. Ah. Not too bad. I really could. I, I mean, I want. I want to level up this egg because I want to see what happens with it eventually, if it evolves again. So I don't really want to get anything else out. Let's try this guy. Oh, no, I've already spoken to him. He gave us something. Let's try this house. Hey, my son trained for years at a time to learn the techniques of battle. Then my husband put them in TMs and gave them to the trainers. Oh, I've already spoken to you guys as well. And you gave me a TM. That wasn't that good. this house. You haven't seen the Pokemon champion around anyway, have you? Uh, no, sorry. Hey, have you seen my brother by any chance? He's the Pokemon champion. I'm looking for him. Oh yeah, he surfed over here a couple of weeks ago now with May. Said he'd found something amazing up in the desert and he was going back for it. Thanks, kid. Now let's see. Let's call Birch. Hello? It's me. I found a clue. Her, what is it? Ghost, where's the desert? Professor Birch, surf east, then north to Slateport, then go north through Moorville. The desert is just north of there. Thanks. Click. Click. Damn, I sounded awesome. They cricked it there. Now let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's a Pokemon there. I want it. I saw it. A huge monster flying overhead. Why does no one believe me? No, no, no. These are trainers who have escaped the zombie plague. They're far too tired and traumatized to talk to you. Damn, I'm thirsty. So what? If I bring him a drink of water, is he going to let me through? Is that what we're saying? Well... Either way, we are done in the Doofers. Which means we can start making our move towards Slateport, and we're probably going to get there, and that will be the all she wrote for today. But... We'll see what happens on the way there. Oh! So I'll come back when I've got Rock Smash. I need to be making notes of where these things are. Just making sure those two weren't guarding something there. I didn't want to miss out. Quillfish can fuck off. Ah, there's the abandoned ship. Mm, I wonder if we can do this yet. Suddenly you are lasered by giant sharks with laser eyes. No, but seriously, you should leave. Okay, I guess we're not coming back there yet. Giant sharks with laser eyes! Ooh, there's a bag there. That means healing, even though I don't need it because I've not been battling anybody. Ah, oh dear. Oh, there's a guy there. Does he want to battle? Aha, young one. Yes, he does. Well, I thought he might have something for us and not be interested in battling. He's got Growlithe, which I'm quite jealous of, because I'd quite like a Growlithe. 
Next, he's got Ponytaw. Let's give Feetai Hong a go. Let's go for the slat. Oh, I don't know, you know. I don't know if this is going so well. The trainers have got pretty good levels right now. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to actually start battling people, which is so annoying in Pokemon games. I hate battling trainers. I just like to do the gyms. Well, there we go. That's that guy down. And we heal. And we move on. Oh, I thought he was going to run into me then. And we have made the beach. And it looks like there's not many people around on the beach. Beaches like this are about the only safe place that's left thanks to the water salt, water soaked, what? Sand soaked, water salt. Oh, it's Linoon. What I was going to say was, don't go to the seashore house. There's something in there. I must take your items to live. Dude, what just happened? Oh, it's a looter again. Dude, these looters are all over me. Wow. Now he's got a Taylo. Is this guy for real? He really comes up against my Gyarados with these pieces of shit. Come on, dude. You've got nothing. I messed up badly. What I was going to say was, don't go into your house. Wait, where's the looter gone then? There's two people stood on one spot there, and that's a bit creepy. What about you? Wow, you look like the champion. He's my brother. So cool. Here, take this. If anyone can use it, you can. After all, the champion's your brother. Volcano pot. It's a volcano in a pot. What the fuck does that do? Raises the power of ground type moves. Well, when I get a decent ground type move on my uh, Revenant, I'll be able to use that. Right, we've gone in. The child has been turned inside out. I can see this being the intro. The child has been turned inside out, stuffed with salt, and then turned back out again. He's very well preserved. Loot his corpse. I don't really want to. Firestone. Ooh. Not really what I want. I want a Thunderstone, but thanks anyway, kid. Oh, that poor child. Gee! Oh my god. That thing just came flying at me. Oh my god. What is that monster? <laughs> Former Chef Tomu sends out Munchlax. Wow, it's level 30. Uh. Okay. Ooh, gave it a gateau. Oh. Wow, that was easy enough. Gee! What the hell was that? Wait a minute. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. That's pestilence, famine, war, and death. The only person who could have made a chef into that starved monster would be famine. This must be his dominion. I'd better tread carefully from here on out. I feel like that was a bit of a stretch, but nonetheless. We have Soda Pop. I'm going to buy a few of those because they're pretty good healing items. Uh, okay, next. Oh, there's someone under there as well. Oh, the kid's family's dead and we're going to battle him and kill his Pokemon too. Come on. Oh, well, at least it's a quick one. Sorry, kid. Snivel, my family, my Pokemon. Sorry. Gee! Another one! Honestly! Uh, Surf's, I guess, this time. Lowering my defense, but it's not hitting me with anything. Which is really weird. I wonder if it can hit me with anything. Or if it's just holding out for some reason. Now it's got a curl here. Let's go for bite. Double team. Bite again. There we go. Kill! Go! What the fuck's going on? I can't see any chefs. I don't know where they're attacking me from. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's fuck it. Oh no, I'm out of moves. We'll bite it. It doesn't seem to be hitting us, so... Oh, there we go. It is now. Just keep biting it. There we go. This one's got curlier as well. I feel like this was the same guy twice. Go! Eggtoplasm! Used Eggwhistle! Eggwhistle? 
made that move up. Ah, <sighs> dear. Ice punch will finish. No, it won't. Well, we'll just keep ice punching. Ah, it's been double teaming so much that I can't fucking hit it. Marley, let's go for Psybeam. It's a psychic type. Uh, let's try Rock Tomb then. Oh, wow. You can tell I don't care about losing Pokemon right now. There we go. Exoplasm's learning Egg Bomb. That's actually really good. Forcibly hurled up the Feral. Uh, let's get rid of... Harden. Nice one. Former Chef Tsuru Saga! Go! These chefs are making some funky noises. Go! Yay, I'm free! To do what I want to do! Oh shit, this place is wrecked. That chef just stepped out of that woman! How did he do that? I love you, baby, but all I can think about is piss at your sausage, your butt cheeks is warm. If you don't know what that song is, you're not real, by the way. Oh. I hate Munchlaxes because they're so grindy, they're high HP, it's like fighting Clefables. You know you're going to win, but it's so grindy, it's going to take forever. Bye, oh, it's super effective, wait, come on. Think about this. There we go. Now, can I stop fighting chefs, please? This corpse has a chef-shaped hole in it. Oh my god. Ah, I guess he was inside of her all along. Jesus. The crate looks like it'd be full. It'd fall apart if bashed with a hard metal object, such as an arc light spanner. Okay. Let's go get an arc light spanner then. One in here. Holes in the floor. Oh. Oh, I see. We've gone to the floor below. As we can see, there's an item here. Gatto! That's a healing item. It's good to have. Oh, there's a guy up there. He looks scary, though. Uh, I'm a bit worried that my team's completely and utterly fucked right now. Uh, so getting into this battle might not be the thing I want to do. However, having said that, I'm probably going to do it. Get these on Gyarados. Right, let's see what this guy's got to say. I can't let you know I'm here. I already know you're here. Ooh, I say. Okay. Uh... Ooh, rock... Oh my god, that rock blast is amazing! Let's get away from that thing, Jesus. Uh, let's try Revenant. And what's nature power going to do down here? Swift. Bit shit. It's alright then. Mm. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Pisachi is going to have to be the saviour here. Bites are super effective, so that's fine. Got another Hombone. Ah, oh, it's alright. We keep biting. Get to the end of it. Please don't tell anyone that I'm here. I don't even know who you are. Yo, I'm stuck. Whoa. Who are you? How would you get in here? I could ask you the very same question. Where am I? Why don't you know? You're in the SS Congrejo, a submarine built by Mr. Michelangelo of Blue Sky Port in the Visbu region. I'm Usher, Usher, Usher. He's second in command. Isn't Michelangelo spelt without an A? Not with Mr. Michelangelo, it isn't. It's complicated. Anyway, how would you get in here? Well, I was in Slateport Harbour and I fell in the water. I landed in your submarine. Oh damn, there must be a new hole then. This submarine is badly damaged, you see. But Mr. Michelangelo refuses to pay for repairs. What are you doing here? Why is your submarine here? Well, it's complicated. We're on a mission to explore the secret underwater ocean under Hoenn. We kind of missed the turning and now we've broken our engine and can't get off the rocks. Can't you fix the engine? Well, our engineer could indeed fix it, but the engine room is flooded and full of nasty Pokemon. If you could clear them out and also the sea devils that came out of the ocean, then we could fix the engine and go. Did you say sea devils? No. Just jump down that hole. They'll take you to the lower levels. Okay. No, can I heal up first? God damn it. Ugh. 
Can there be a bed somewhere, please? Because this isn't... This isn't cricket. I mean, what's that? Nothing. Ooh. Strength, and I've not got that. What's this? Elevator is clearly broken. Well, this is going absolutely swimmingly, isn't it? Where do we move next, then? Oh, yeah, I can't log into the computers. I can't use that generator. There's a hook there. That doesn't seem to be for anything, either. Hmm. This is very strange. I don't have strength, so I can't get down there. So now what do I do? Elevator is clearly broken. It's not possible to go any further. Yeah. So I hear, but... What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Hmm. This is going to take some exploration, I do think. All of these computers just say the same thing. They're all logged out. Just keep looking at these plans as well. No. What does that what did that one say? Plan of the engine, it looks really simple. Okay. But if it's really simple, can we just like do something with it? Like pick it up and take it and fix it? Or you know, something like, something like that. Ah. Uh, I mean this is just me walking around in circles now. What the hell's going on? Right, well, you know what? Let's end the episode here. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on. Crate is labelled. Crate is empty. It has Angel Laboratories. Yeah. <sighs> well, you know what? I think we might have to leave this off here then and then come back and give it another go when I can have time to think. In fact, I'll probably run around and try and solve this while we're off. Wait, hang on, hang on. Is that a massive door that I've missed? It is indeed. Wow. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, either way, we're in the submarine. Oh, I don't know if we are still in the submarine. We seem like we're not anymore. Mm. Wherever we are, we're going to work it out at the beginning of the next episode. Thank you all very much for coming and watching part five. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed yourself. Which you probably haven't, because this has been the grindiest, shittiest episode ever. But either way, I've enjoyed it, and that's all that really matters. Thank you all very much, and I will see you all next time for part six when we're going to find out what the fuck's going off down here and hopefully head back to Slateport. Later.